Hey guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back here to Ships of the Merchant for another naptime haul. Today I have two different sourcing trips that I'm going to show you. One of them was post my thread up mystery box that I took the rest of the stuff, whatever I didn't take to Plato's closet. So while I was waiting for Plato's to go through all my stuff, I visited um, a, one of the Goodwills in my area. And I also went to one of the consignment stores in my area. I didn't have a whole lot from that trip. Um, you'll see but I got a few pieces and then the next day I went to my local savers. They were having a sale going on. So I'll explain that a little bit later, but hey y'all. So I'm sitting here outside of my local Plato's closet and I just went through my thread up mystery box yesterday. So I'm just gonna drop off all the inventory that I didn't think I'd be able to sell here at Plato's and see how much they'll give me for it. And then whatever they don't take, I'm just gonna take right to savers uh, so I can get a coupon from there. I don't often come down this way, so I'm gonna hit up one of the Goodwills near here while they're going through my stuff while I wait for that. So um, it's generally not very good, the Goodwills, um, but I have some time, so I figured I would just check it out. But um, yeah, let me see what they give me and then I'll take you guys with me to Goodwill. Okay, so Goodwill was terrible, like I suspected. Um, yeah, even just standing in line didn't justify <laughs> getting the stuff that I did get, but um, I felt like I needed to justify going at all. But the way that they organize their clothes there is just terrible too. Like nothing is organized, everything is just kind of thrown together, like there's no rhyme or reason to um the way they put things together i guess they do it by size and not by like you know shirts pants so everything's just kind of thrown together so i got a few things but yeah there's nothing really good i still have about 50 minutes 45 minutes so i'm gonna go check out the other consignment store that i generally go to um i don't go very often just because the the prices are a little bit higher but it's right next to play-doh's so um i'll probably spend the rest of the time there until Plato's is done with my items and then um, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to actually go walking around savers but yeah I'll probably just drop my donations off then and be done. Okay, that was definitely better at the consignment. Um, definitely better brands, but I pay a little bit more. So I pretty much just hit the things that are on sale and um, I got some good pieces. Yeah, it makes it a little bit more worth it, but still not a whole lot. I'm gonna go pick up, um, see what I got from Play-Dohs and then I need to feed a little Ruthie back here. So unfortunately my time is up. I pretty much only have the time that my daughter is napping at home. My other daughter, um, well, my husband's there. So I got about $20 from the stuff that I took to Play-Doh, so not a whole lot. Um, but I was gonna go to Savers and drop all this stuff off and look around, but my husband is actually going out of town tomorrow. So maybe I will try to take both of the girls to Savers for a little bit um, and drop this stuff off, because I have a whole back seat full here so i definitely need to go drop that off but yeah so maybe i will pick this video up tomorrow when i go to savers all right we're out leaving early here 
Um, Savers is about to open and I didn't get to drop off my donations yesterday. So we're going to go do that first. And then I also got a text message this morning that said that Savers is having um, a like sale going on that you can get 30% off if you spend $100 or more. So we're gonna hopefully hit that limit. And I got both kids. <laughs> well, bless you. Got both kids with me today. So um, life of a mom slash part-time reseller. So here we go. First, let's just jump into what I got from Goodwill and the consignment store. Um, I think I've said before, our Goodwills here are just very, they just don't have a lot of great stuff. So it always feels kind of pointless for me to go into them. But um, I did end up getting a few items. I spent $20. Um, so I'll go through those first. The first thing I got were these little flats. Um, they're just this blue color, but they have a little bit of a detailing almost like a basket weave to the toe. They are from Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand does okay in shoes. It does better with boots, but um, I thought these were kind of cute and they look like almost brand new. Honestly, there's no scuffing to them at all. However, they are a small size. They're a size five and a half, so pretty tiny. Um, they may sit for a little while, but maybe I could get about $20 for those. They were only about $2.50 for me. Um, anytime I go into Goodwill, I do get a, I think, 25% off. Let me see. Yeah, so 25% off with a military ID. Um, so while my husband and I are still in the military, I'm utilizing that discount. Um, next thing I found was a brand that I had never heard of. Um, it's called Urban Nomad. This is a small medium. I looked it up and it seemed like the dresses were doing pretty decently, so I thought I would give it a try. But it's this really pretty printed dress. It has um, a little bit of an asymmetrical, like high-low hem at the bottom. It's a midi length and it has a little bit of a ruffle skirt. It has this elastic waist and this deep V with these spaghetti straps. These are also elastic, so they have some fit to them. But yeah, I thought it was just really cute. Thought I would give it a try, see how it does. It feels really nice also. I'm not sure what it is made of or if there's even any other tags in it. Yeah, anyway, so I got that. Next, I found this American Eagle piece, the size small. It's this yellow little crop top, long sleeve with um, this kind of crossed crocheted detail to the front. Um, here's the tag. So I picked that up. 99% cotton. It's from 2018, so pretty new piece. Next I found this Cynthia Rowley top. It's white with this see-through crocheted detailing. Honestly, it's really hard to find white tops, so I was pleasantly surprised when there was no stains on it. It has that crocheted detail to the neck with a little button back. And anytime I buy Cynthia Rally, it's generally because it's 100% linen. This is 55, so this is only 55% linen, but again, being white, I don't find often find a lot of white tops. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I think this is the last piece from there. Yes. So the last piece I found at this Goodwill was this off the shoulder floral balloon sleeve 
crop top. This is by the Fran the excuse me, this is by the brand Flying Tomato. It's just extra small. Um, this brand does okay. I mean, it's definitely not a quick mover. But again, I was just trying to find something to make it worth me going to the store. I stood in line for like 20 minutes then just to check out, so I don't know if it was worth it or not. But anyway, the next bunch of stuff is what I found at another consignment store. This is a pretty good consignment store. They have a lot of higher end brands, but they are a little bit more expensive, so you will pay up for them. Um, first item I picked up was this blue knit sweater by Lucky Brand. It's a size small. Um, yeah, cute little sweater. Nice and soft. A lot of these items that I found were on their clearance rack, so generally their clearance are marked with like a red sticker, and they're usually under $5 or less. So that was one of those items on that rack. And then this also, this is by the brand Mod Cloth. It's this cool novelty printed tank top, crop tank top. It has this interesting pattern on it. Um, it's like floral, and then there's these little faces on them as well. Um, it has a button back, and this was a size 2X, so great size. There's the tag. So I went ahead and picked that up. I found a few t-shirts, um, yeah, just like basic football t-shirts, but they're two bucks a piece. This one looks brand new. It's Nike. It still has like the reflective sticker on it, um, but this is a Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a Pit, you know, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. If anything, I'm closer to Philly, so it'd be Eagles. But um, picked that up. Thought somebody would appreciate that. It's a size extra large, so it's a good size. Then I also picked up this NFL size small Patriots football T-shirt. Yeah, I feel like people just are always looking for sport team T-shirts and. They were so cheap, I just figured I would pick them up. Next I found this yellow and blue striped button-down um, American Eagle, size small. This looks like a newer tag. I think that's probably why I picked it up. Yeah, so it's 2019, 100% cotton. Um, so yeah, newer American Eagle does pretty well. And then these are an interesting find for the discounted rack. They are a purple, like, I don't even know what you would call this, nylon jogger with this ruching detail to the side um, and this black and ooh, lavender, you know, waistband. It's a pretty color. Um, but these are Adidas, but they are an Adidas and Stella McCartney collab. They're a size small. And I know Adidas and Stella McCartney were doing really well. Let's get a pick up. I knew that they were doing really well for a while, so I'm not sure how these will do. Honestly, I didn't look up much when I was at the store. I have like no service when I'm at that store, so I couldn't really look anything up, but um, again, they were on the clearance rack, so I figured I would give them a try. This is just a basic, like, almost cami crop top um, by Intimately Free People. It's a size small. I think I picked this up because I was thinking about get, keeping it myself just for, like, a night shirt. So I'm not sure if I'm going to list this one yet or not. Uh, but it's just basic v-neck, deep V in the front and back. Um, next I picked up this like turtleneck, long sleeve athletic turtleneck. This is a Nike piece. Um, I have sold this before. The Nike Pro Hyper Warm, size medium. Um, it is a turtleneck. 
like I said, I have sold this before, but I actually sold the red one and they were in the leggings. So I'm not sure how the top will do. I guess they're like a set. Um, I haven't seen them ever in a set, but um, wanted to try that out. And then the last two items um, were also discounted. I think they were 25% up off, but I picked them up because they're both new with tags. The first one are these really cool printed Adidas full length leggings. I really like the print and the color. They are a high rise. So originally $50, they're size extra small. With the holiday season, um, new with tag stuff right now is doing really well. So that's why I picked those up. And then the second new with tags are these almost like a leopard printed blue Under Armour leggings. These also are a high waist, but they're a cropped style. Um, compression, high rise, ankle crop. And they're size medium. There's the new with tags. $55 retail. So, okay. So those are the two things. Those are the items that I got from the consignment and then Goodwill. And then the next day, I got a text um, saying that Savers was having a deal going on that if you spent over $100, you'd get 30% off. And I pretty much always spend over $100 at Savers. Um, so, yeah. But the hard, the tricky part was that my husband had just left to go out of town and um, I had both girls. So it was interesting to say the least. Um, they did great. It was really good. I was able to get a ton of stuff. Um, so let's just jump into it because I have three big bags here. The first, we're just going to go with some denim. Um, the first are these high rise button fly raw hem jeans by the brand Can Can. I sell this brand pretty often. They go quickly. However, this is a very small size. Um, it's a size 24. So yeah, I wasn't sure about these. Honestly, they were like $3. So that's why I ended up getting them. But um, I wanted to see how well a smaller size would do if people are actually looking for that size. The next pair of jeans I got is another Can Can. These are like a lighter wash. They're distressed in the knees. Um, they're not a raw hem, but um, these are a size 26. There's the tag again. So there's some distressing on the back pockets as well. So just a different style. And then the last pair of jeans I got is um, an American Eagle high-rise jegging crop. They're distressed. Oh, Oh no. I was going to say, now I'm seeing that there's a hole in the butt, but it's just a distressing underneath. Um, there's actually a patch there. So yeah, these are really cute. They're like distressed all the way down. They have a raw hem. Um, they are a size two. So also tiny. There's a bunch of jeans that somebody had that were just tiny, tiny, tiny. So however there is, it looks like there is a decent amount of wear to the crotch so I may not list those I did not see that um, anyway the next item I got is another American Eagle piece it is a super soft super soft standard fit it's an extra extra large it's just this logo hooded sweatshirt um, it's very thin. It's like a lightweight sweatshirt. It's a big size, nice blue color. And I picked this up because it was new with tags. So there's the tag. It retails for $40. Next. I wasn't sure about this brand. I honestly, I think I was just brand happy <laughs> at the store. I was just picking up everything because it felt like it was so cheap. So this is by the brand Paper Crane, size large. It's this cream colored and a tan. This is almost like a pinkish mauve um, sweater, knit sweater. Has this cross stitching detail in there. 
and um, it is a wool blend so besides large here let me show you the tag so there's that and I really a lot of really good sweaters next is this is just a forever 21 piece um, however ponchos are doing really well it's this big poncho it's very thick and warm and has a fringe detail on the bottom um, it's just one size I would guess it has some wool in it um, I don't see the content tag but so I picked that up this is a burnt orange open front cardigan. It does have these little side snaps, button snaps on it, so you could close it. Um, this is by Free People, size medium. It's just cotton rayon. Um, I did not look this up. Again, I was just like finding brands and happy that I was finding them, so we will see how that does. I have never found this brand. I know a lot of people will send this into the real world. I never have listed anything on the real world yet, so I will just list this in my Poshmark closet. But um, this is a jacket um, with a little clasp in the front. It's brown in this greenish color, fully lined. It is by the brand Lafayette 148. It's a size 10. So I was very happy to find this, um, but this style I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it will do. I did not look it up. I was just happy to find the brand. I've never found it before. Um, next, I picked this up based on style. I don't think it has. Yeah, it doesn't even have any branding tag, but it is this black knit rose and pink sweater. Um, it has some shoulder pads, and I might model this one just because of the style to see what I was, to show people what I was thinking when I picked it up, but um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I like the colors on it. And then next, this is the brand Saturday Sunday. It's sold at Anthropology. It's this really soft gray with this striped side um, and a little bit of fringe detail. It's an open front cardigan. And then the striping goes on the back as well. Um, it's a size extra small. It doesn't look like an extra small. It's definitely oversized, so this is really soft. Um, next, I don't know this brand either, but I picked it up based on style by the brand Takara, size small. And it is a white embroidered kimono has this beautiful embroidered detailing on the sleeve as well as on the hem and then it has a fringe hem a navy blue fringe um, and then next I picked up a olive green adidas jacket this is a quarter zip jacket with a hood very lightweight it's a great size it's an extra large there's the tag. Um, I don't know if this could be a men's or a women's, I think. But it has the kangaroo pocket in the front. Alright, moving on to the second bag. Let me check. I don't know if both of the babies are about to wake up. Anyway, let's keep moving. Next. This is a brand I've found a few times, um, and it's sold pretty decently, but it is gray button front, I mean, a gray full zip jacket with a tie waist. It's, an, it's like a drawstring waist and a hood. This is the brand Norma Kamali, size large. I've sold this in a dress that did pretty well, and then I also had another dress that just sat for a long time, so it's kind of hit or miss. Um, so we'll see how it does in a athletic jacket. 
Okay, both babies just woke up, so I'm gonna try to get through this quickly. Um, if you hear some like grunting and cooing, it's because I have my daughter here next to me. Um, okay, next is another American Inkle piece. It's this really pretty colored color block knit sweater. Um, it's a newer tag, size small. And I found this really thick, large, it's like almost like a cargo um, utility sweatshirt. It has this little pocket on the side um, in this olive green tone. And it is a 3X. This is by the brand Fabletics. So Fabletics, uh, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, but this size and the style of this I thought was really cute. So I figured I would go ahead and give that a try. Next, this is another brand that I'll pick up if it's a newer style. But it's this like bubblegum pink um, hoodie with this fuzziness inside with a drawstring and the kangaroo pouch. And this is the brand Airy. It's a size large. And like I said, if it's a newer style, I will pick it up. So this one is from 2019. So is why I picked that up. Oof. Whacking myself in the face. Um, next, I picked this up based on style. There's no tags in it. Or was there? There is one tag here. There's no um, brand tag. It does have a style, so I'll have to look this up, but it's just a sweater vest, but it has this leopard print on it. Um, very soft. I'm not sure if there's like wool in it or something, but based on style, I picked that up. Um, we have another newer American Eagle piece. This is a cow neck pink and white striped sweater. It's kind of slouchy, oversized fit, very soft. It is a size medium. And let me see here. This is from 2020, so definitely a newer style. This is this beautiful gray knit sweater, very soft. Um, this is just Banana Republic, but it says it's made of Italian yarn. It's a size extra small. And this was their 50% off tag, so that is why I picked this up. Um, just a great basic neutral colored sweater. Next, we have another American Eagle. I wonder if these all came from the same person, but it's this light slouchy oversized knit sweater. This is really cute. I might keep this size small. So this is also 2020. This is really soft. I might try that one on. Put that off to the side. Next. This is just a Columbia open front cardigan. It has like a little bit of a polka dot detail. Um, it's a size 1X, so these larger sizes do really well also. Um, then next, this is also another just bread and butter brand for me, but it is a black open cardigan with this cutout detail to the back um, by the brand Torrid. To size zero and that is a plus size okay so last bag um, I was very surprised to find these but I think I showed it in the video actually but they're these beautiful leather snakeskin print booty um, by Madewell this is the first time I've ever found a Madewell shoe and honestly they are like in almost new condition there's barely anywhere to the bottom um, they are a leather upper. They're a size 7, so a great size. Um, I did pay up for these. I think I paid $20, but it looked like they were going for around 80 or 90 on eBay and Poshmark, so I definitely snagged those. Um, next, I knew what this was the second I felt it, and they had not marked it up. Um, I think they often miss blue 11 pieces, but it's this like space gray, just long sleeve top with a little back zip pocket. Um, the size tag is in there. It's a size extra large. And 
There's the little Lululemon logo. Oh! So that was a great find. Next, we got another oversized hoodie. This is a size medium. This is definitely oversized because it's really big. But it is a Nike Air really long line hoodie. Um, it has like, the, the metallic is almost like a rose gold, so it's really cute. Um, there's the tag, size medium. Oh no! Let's get your binkies. Alright. Looks like we got two more pieces. Okay. Um, another Columbia shirt. Uh, Columbia does okay. It's not great. I wouldn't pay up for it, but this is a crew neck sweater, sweatshirt, with like a kangaroo pocket in this like heathered olive green color. It's a size large. Very soft. Um, really great condition too. Looks brand new. And then the last piece is another Columbia piece. Okay, I picked up a lot of Columbia, I guess, which I don't often do, but it's a striped blue, dark blue and light blue. It's got a little chevron detailing too. Um, full zip jacket. And it is a size medium. So there's that tag. And yeah, lots of really great winter pieces here in this haul. So, um, okay. Yeah. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hello. So yeah, this is life with two babies and trying to resell. So we just make it happen. Um, but thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll be back with some other hauls in the future for nap time. When you guys want to nap. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.